Girl, you better get that out of here. Today, we're gonna be looking at what Disney doesn't want you to know. If you enjoyed these videos, then go ahead and smack that like button. I post new ones every day at 3 p.m. Pacific, so make sure you come on back tomorrow. And please just do it now. Subscribe to my gaming channel, Yeah Matt Smith. Just click that first link in the description below. And let's go! Disney fails that will ruin your childhood. Mickey Mouse loses his eye. Wait, what? Oh, no, Mickey, I know we told you to keep an eye out, but not like that, dang. And Frozen loses Elsa, loses her face. Oh, oh no, Grrr. Well, I guess it's safe to say that Elsa would like to have a face off. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, God. Gee, what happened to you? Girl, you look like your face exploded. Oh, I, I mean, you look a little bit better, but gosh, dang. Uh, girl, how's that gas station sushi treating you? <laughs> yeah, I got him. Maleficent lost her powers after losing her wings. Well, great. You look like you lost your face, too. <laughs> oh, you really lost. You look like Two Face. Dang, what is going on up in here? I feel like all of y'all eat lunch together at the same table at school. Like, like, like all of y'all stick together. Your face didn't want to stick together. <laughs> okay. Scariest depictions of Mickey Mouse. Oh, wait, what the? Oh, my gosh. That's creepy, bro. Nope, nope, no, not today. Ew, are those your parents? Nope, just don't look, don't even look at it. Don't look at it. You cannot look that thing in the face. Where is your face? You might want to check lost and found. Here's why you should never lean against the railing on a Disney World Fair. Ah, ha, ha. ah y'all got creepy, crawly, jungly, wungly, squiggly, diggly things up in there. That's nasty. Look at them spiders. Call the exterminator. Like, what are y'all doing, Disney? You can't fool me. I know y'all got money, but apparently you ain't got no money for the uh, exterminate the spiders budget. Scary stories about Disneyland, except this one, there's actual proof. One time a guy went to Disneyland and was waiting to ride the roller coaster on Space Mountain. He was standing in line when a guy with red hair came up to him and started talking to him. He seemed nice, but he was a little bit odd. But the thing is, when the ride was over, this red-haired man literally vanished into thin air. The guest reported this incident and was told that he was alone the entire time. This guest might have just encountered a ghost people know as Mr. One Way. Rumor has it that he's the ghost of a man who passed away while on the ride in the 1970s. He always vanishes right before the ride is over, and he likes to talk to people who are riding the roller coaster alone. People have also reported seeing him in the cast member locker rooms. Follow if you want a part two because there's so many ghost stories about Disney. No thanks girl, I appreciate it, but uh, <clears throat> I'm good. Mr. One Way, well you are gonna have to take a one way ticket to out of my face. He likes to talk to people who are riding alone. Mm -mm, I bet you I'm riding with, with 20 people, mm-hmm. Oh. In Kanto Murder Mystery, who was murdered? Uh. <gasps> Yes! Grandma? <laughs> I've never seen somebody so excited to hear that that the grandma from Encanto was murdered. Who? Who had the murder weapon, everybody? Who had the weapon? She looks like a Disney Who character. Who had the weapon? Feel it. The black man, of course. Okay. I'm just kidding. Okay. I know they're like Columbia. Okay. So Felix, he had the weapon, but who found her dead body? Your mama. Who saw Bella died? Oh no! I forgot his name. I Camila saw this, all right. Who just doesn't give a God. care in the world about this? <laughs> Dang, girl. I've never seen somebody have so much fun by themselves. Well, well, I mean, like, you know, I'm sure it's possible, but dang. Hey, girl, lay off the laughing gas, mm-hmm. Creepy facts about Disney that'll make you feel weird. Okay. Do we all know Lilo? Are you Lilo from Lilo and Stitch? Well, the actress that played the voiceover for Lilo uh -huh. is bloody Samara from The Ring. I'm not even making it the up. The same person? If you're really naughty when you're at Disneyland, you could literally end up in Disney jail. I mean, it sounds amazing, but... A source who claims to have previously worked at Disneyland says that they have a actual police station on Disney property. And if you are really naughty or caught shoplifting or anything like that, you basically get thrown in Disney jail. Right. Obviously, it's just like a holding place until, you know, you get taken off of site. Wait times at Disneyland are normally way overestimated, so when you get on the ride and you realize it's not as long as what the wait time says, you're pleasantly surprised. 
This basically is a trick to keep you happier. Here's a final one that I think will ruin Finding Nemo for you. Clownfish actually change gender to mate, and the fact that Finding Nemo and Marlin are the only clownfish in their whole area of that part of the ocean means that they'll eventually need to mate. Ew. <laughs> Thanks, Matthew McKinnon, for ruining my childhood. I had no idea that they have a Disney jail. Don't drop the Disney soap. You are scared of creepy dolls. Finish your coffee, girl, before you start your TikToks. For the purpose of this video, we're just gonna call this doll Olivia. In the Liberty Square Market area, you can see a tiny little someone watching you. Nobody knows why this doll was placed in the window, but she definitely has a creepy little stare to her. No, she doesn't. Just imagine this catching you off guard. Some guests have even claimed to see her move. <laughs> I can't believe it. I don't know if she knows, but there's a doll behind her. Uh, that doll's watching you. It's okay, the doll's just jealous of your hair. Mm -hmm. On this program, Nikki and I will introduce you to some of Disneyland's newest and most exciting attractions. Why are y'all holding hands? Pirates of the Caribbean. Almost everyone has heard of the Pirates of the Caribbean ride at Disney World. But did you know that it was actually built before the movies came out? The ride's construction began in 1967 and was being overseen by Walt Disney himself. That face But though. the ride's creation was riddled in sinister details. While building the original set, the crew was struggling to create skeletons that looked real enough. So they decided to use actual human remains. <gasps> and it's rumored that the human bones used are still on the ride today. This ride would also be one of the last projects Walt Disney would ever oversee, because he would die before it was finished, leaving some of the crew to believe the ride was cursed. Be sure to follow for more of the dark side of TikTok. Uh, yep, no thanks, no, no, I'm good, man. Uh, everybody trying to get me to follow him, to, to learn more about, nope. You use actual human remains and skeletons on the Pirates of the Caribbean ride. I ain't never going on that ride again. I would even be on the boat trying to touch the skeletons. Uh. Here are some scary Disney facts. Number one, when Walt Disney was alive, he thought that the skeletons in the Pirates of the Caribbean ride looked a little not real. So they used the real skeletons! He used real life human skeletons in the rides. Girl, you're you disappearing. Some of the skeletons in there might still be real human remains. Number two. Whenever Disney was in his apartment, he'd turn this lamp on. After he died, the lamp was off and no worker was allowed to touch it ever. Every once in a while, the lamp turns itself on Ooh. for no reason. Number three, a ride that's now closed called Toad's Wild Ride. At some point during the ride, you die and get sent to hell by this judge. Keep in mind, this is a kid's game and they're sending them to hell. It's now shut down for obvious reasons. Yeah, obvious reasons. <laughs> so funny. I feel like this girl is up to something. Mm -hmm. Why Why are you telling me the Disney secrets? You look like the girl that wouldn't let me cheat off your homework. Uh, I, mean, I mean, let me let work together uh, uh, honestly on the homework together. Dark things Disney doesn't want you to know. Part four. Uh -huh. Today, let's talk about the mysterious disappearance of Rebecca Coriam. <gasps> Rebecca Coriam was a 24-year-old worker on the Disney Wonder cruise ship. On March 22, 2011, while working on the cruise ship, Rebecca disappeared without a trace. Dang. This is one of the last photos taken of her, and it was from CCTV footage. At 5.45 a.m. that morning, footage revealed Rebecca talking on the phone with someone. She seemed visibly distressed. Now, here's where it gets twisted. Many people believe that Disney knows exactly what happened to Rebecca, but are trying to cover up this whole thing. For starters, the captain of the ship said that Rebecca was just washed over by a big wave. They then gave Rebecca's parents a sandal and said that this was hers and it was retrieved from the deck that she was last seen on. Lies! Number one, the sandal wasn't her size. Number two, it wasn't her style. It was also revealed that Disney had edited the CCTV footage. Check out part two on this case for more information. No! That's crazy. Like, people go missing sometimes at Disneyland, or like some of the workers just go missing, and then Disney might try to cover it up because it messes up their reputation. And why are Mickey and Minnie Mouse in the background throwing up gang signs? You guys wanted more? Oh, I wanted more. The creepy real story of Snow White. Mm. And just be warned, it's a little Is disturbing. the sun in your face? This is the real Snow White also known as Margaret von Waldeck. She was a 16th century Bavarian woman. Uh -huh. Her brother owned a copper mine and used small children as labor. 
all of these children became extremely physically deformed because of the labor that mining required. The dwarves. They were referred to as dwarves. The poison apple in Snow White is also rooted in history. A rich old man who frequented the mines would offer poison fruits to kids he believed stole from him. Dang. But it gets worse. Margaret's stepmother hated her and sent her away to Brussels to get married to the prince, hoping that it would fail. Instead, they fell in love. Sadly, this was not a happily ever after for Margaret. The prince's father, the king of Spain, opposed the romance. Ooh. So he hired people in his Spanish guard to kill her. Jeez. She was poisoned and died. Think about that next time you watch Snow White. Like for more. Uh, I will not think about that next time you watch Snow White. And apparently in the new live action of Snow White, Snow White is black. Like, what, 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 I mean, look, I, I know y'all trying to, you know, uh, be all inclusive and, you know, change it up a little bit, but like, her name is Snow uh, White. It ain't Snow Black. All right, anyway. Did you know about the abandoned Disney park that nobody's allowed that to go to? Scary. It's called River Country, and it was one of the first water parks that Disney has ever had. They opened in 1976, but had to shut their doors for good in 2001 when something terrifying happened. Huh. Two kids died swimming there because of a brain-eating amoeba. Wait, wait, amoeba? Don't you mean a brain-eating amoeba? <laughs> <laughs> you dummy. It is amoeba, right? The photographer went to the abandoned park to take these shots. They noticed something. A hat that looked like it was in good condition just sitting on the bridge. Wait, that's it? Girl, what the heck? Come on now. Quit trying to rip me off. Jeez, you cutting it short. I know TikTok allows for three minutes. Trying to suck me into a part two. It ain't gonna work. Nice try, Miss uh, Brain Eating Amobia. It's amoeba. It's amoeba insanely dark facts and things that have happened at Disney World. When Disney had first opened way back in the 70s, Walt Disney had originally hired spies. He would station them around the park so they could eavesdrop on the guests and get a feel for how they actually liked the experience. Wow. It's pretty much common knowledge that Disney does have an underground tunnel system, but did you know that that system runs a full nine acres under the park and people have actually gotten lost down there? Mm. Roughly 10 or so years ago, there was an incident that was reported near Space Mountain when a guest tried to sneak on a duffel bag. When employees found out and they asked to search it, they found inside a six month old baby. Why this parent was trying to sneak a baby onto a roller coaster, we do not know. In a lesser known incident that Disney actually covered up pretty well, in 2004, a 38 year old cast member who was playing Pluto was run over by the Beauty and the Beast float during the opening parade. Although clearly deceased at the scene, Disney refused to declare the death until the body was brought outside of the park. Your nails purple. That's insane. There's so many Disney conspiracies and cover-ups going on up in there. You know what, man? I'm, I'm just gonna I'm going to Six Flags Magic Mountain, okay? How about that? But yeah, go ahead, click on the screen and watch another, another one. Yeah, man.